once you take that leap of faith, you're going to have a lot of people disguising themselves as supporters, but really low key, they're hating that you decided to better yourself or chase your dream. Baby, I'm talking crazy. I need you right in my space, but I need it, baby, I'm late, but I... Hey y'all, it's Kaylin Doll. Welcome to my channel if you're new here, and welcome back if you're a returning subscriber. I'm so happy to see you again. So recently I had somebody come to me totally unprovoked and tell me what they feel like I should be doing on my YouTube channel. Now, I love constructive criticism. I love advice. I love for people to give me pointers because as a businesswoman, I understand that feedback is one of the only ways that you're going to be able to improve, okay? You have to be receptive to people telling you, hey, I like this, but I didn't like that. Have you ever thought about doing X, Y, and Z? That is actually a good thing. But the problem comes when a person is trying to give you pointers, but you could tell it's coming off a little bit hater-like, okay? It's, it's a little bit hateful. It's giving a little bit you an undercover hater, okay? So with that being said, if you are a person who wants to start your own YouTube channel and maybe even make a career out of it down the line or whatever it is, you want to have a business, this is the type of stuff that you're going to deal with all the time. People deep down want to have the freedom of being an entrepreneur. They don't understand how much work it is to have a YouTube channel or, you know, to work for yourself in general. So once you take that leap of faith, you're going to have a lot of people disguising themselves as supporters, but really low key, they're hating that you decided to better yourself or chase your dreams. Do you know how many people have dreams to put themselves out there and they're so nervous or they don't have the confidence to do so, so they just never go after it? Those people can have a lot of boiling anger okay and it's not really anger at you it's anger at themselves that they never really like pull the trigger on things that they wanted to do that don't have nothing to do with you so with that being said we're going to call this person who came to me potato keep it in mind potato is a person who is grossly totally completely outside of my target audience meaning I have not made a single video that I felt like people like potato would like. Not only that, I don't have any plans anytime soon of making videos specifically for the potatoes of the world, okay? So potato comes to me and tells me that they watched a lot of my videos. They're telling me basically that they don't understand why I do things like tell story times. They feel like story times are irrelevant. They think that the way that I conduct myself and the way that I speak on camera should not be the way that I speak in real life. Now, I'm gonna just tell you this. It's not a fake bone in my body, okay? Of course, there's business K and then there is K the doll. Now, K the doll is gonna be a little bit fun. Like, you know, she's gonna be a little bit more loose when business k is going to be about her business straight down the line no shortcuts let's do it let's get in and out that's who i am like basically what i'm trying to say is there's only two versions of me but it's the same person okay it is the same exact person it's just that one is in a business realm and the other one is just out here living life I am not the type of person who wants to be robotic. If you are thinking about starting a channel and you actually want to have a community of supporters, you're going to have to be yourself. People can tell when you're trying to curate a persona. People can tell when you're coming on camera being fake, when you're omitting information, when you're saying one thing but you're really meaning another. People don't really want gravitate toward that. Now, Potato doesn't get the content that I make because the content is not made for Potato. 
it is so important. I can't even stress how important it is to make sure you are going to define who you are wanting to speak to. So if I was to listen to Potato and everybody else who told me they, you know, this is what they want me to do. If I was to listen to that, I wouldn't be being myself. This would not be my channel. It's not going to be K the Dog. It's going to be... I don't even know, made by you, you know what I mean? And this person was disguising themselves as a friend. I don't know why they felt the need to come to me and try to check me on my content. If you wanna be controlling somebody, control yourself and start your own YouTube channel. Start your own TikTok, do what you wanna do, but I'm not gonna make content specifically for you. Now, I am making this video because you will be surprised how many times we deal with things like this. As an entrepreneur, people wanting you to get certain products that basically are not going to sell or that you have no interest in carrying. Now, if you have enough people telling you the same thing, then maybe there's something to that. But people genuinely get pissed when you don't listen to them and go the direction that they want to they want you to go in. If you really have a dream that you would like to pursue, you're gonna have to chase that dream no matter who is saying what, okay? You're gonna have a lot of potatoes and you're gonna have to discern who is telling you things just because they're projecting onto you or they're trying to be negative or they're trying to plant a seed of doubt in your mind because they know you have the potential to do it and who is actually telling you things to see you go further and to make you better. You have to stop trying to explain your dreams to people who don't know how to chase a dream. <laughs> they, they're not gonna get it. They might understand, but they're gonna make it seem to you like, oh, that's outlandish. Oh, you're dreaming too big. Oh, nobody around here has done that before. And what? And what? Like, if you have a vision for something, go ahead and do that thing. Now, what Potato fails to realize is there's a market for literally everything on the internet. When it comes to YouTube, there's vlogs. You could be doing uh, clothing hauls. You could be doing makeup tutorials. You could be doing reaction videos. There are so many other things that you could be doing. And you don't have to just stick to one thing, especially starting off. You don't have to find your niche right out of the gate. Actually being consistent and making the videos that you want to make when you want to make them is going to help you find your lane. It's going to help you define your audience. So people like Potato, they're not going to understand that because they don't have a channel. Do not let people talk you out of your dreams because they talk themselves at one point out of theirs. That's all I'm trying to say. This is a super quick video. I just had to come and say that because I really do feel like a lot of people can relate to this. Negativity comes from everywhere. And now it's like people are getting so creative with the way that they insult you. They're getting so creative with the way that they talk down to you or tell you basically that they don't like it, like what it is that you're doing. And you don't have to like it because if you don't like it, the next person might. If they don't, the next person might. But somebody most certainly will. That's the bottom line. Chase your dreams. Don't listen to the potatoes of the world. They never did nothing for nobody, okay? Thank you so much for watching this video. Super quick. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.